Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday jewelry. I keep all of my everyday jewelry in this little like ring thingy. This little ring dish was from World Market and it was a gift. I don't know if it's still available. I've had it for several years. As we go through this, you guys will see that I am very strictly gold. I think I have like two pieces total in here that have some silver in them. I tend to go for very classic pieces of jewelry, things that are not super trendy that will go out of style very quickly. I try to go for more classic pieces that I can wear for a long period of time. So let's start with the pieces that I wear on an everyday basis. So on my right hand, obviously on my left hand, I have my wedding ring. I obviously wear that on an everyday basis. On my right hand, I wear two fake Cartier love rings. I just look up love ring on Amazon and I get them that way. I wear this very dainty chain and it has a little pine tree on it. And I never take that off. I wear it all the time. I got that from a website. I believe it was madebymary.com. If I can find it, I will link it down below. All of this stuff, if I can find it, I will link it down below. Now, let's go into my ears. So, besides my first holes, all of my other piercings, I pretty much keep the same jewelry in all the time. So, let's start with my right ear. All of my jewelry in this ear is from Etsy, besides these two in my lobes. So, my tragus piercing is from Etsy, as well as my conch. And again, I will leave links down below if I can find them. Earrings that I have in my seconds are from Nordstrom Rack and these earrings are from Amazon, which I wear these all the time. You guys have probably seen them. I adore them. <laughs> then let's go to my left ear. So my most recent piercing is my forward helix here. So that is just the earring that I was pierced with and I have a stud from Etsy that I'm gonna replace it with. My two helix, I probably will not be able to find links for those. I got them from my mom. She had them on hand. All right, now that I've shown you the stuff that I have currently in, let's go into this little disc that holds the other that I wear on an everyday basis and that I switch out. So I have these thin gold hoops from J. Crew. They're just a daintier version of a hoop that aren't quite as in your face so sometimes if I want something that's less dramatic I will go with these. These I cannot link for you guys because I don't even know where they're from. My mom probably got them at like a little touristy shop. These are one of the only silver items that I have and they're these big dangly hoops and I wear those sometimes if the outfit is vibing it. I also have these cool, they're not, they're like kind of hoops and these are kind of hard to get in because you have to like get the little stem in the hole, but they're still in my everyday jewelry holder. Earrings that are tortoiseshell on the bottom, gold on the top, and these are recent additions. These are another pair of hoops that are interchanged with these ones quite frequently. They are from Madewell. They're just a little bit thinner and a little bit, I feel like they're about the same size, honestly. Maybe these are a little bit smaller in diameter. Just plain gold hoops love these ones. I got these ones from Etsy and they're just twisted gold and they're very small. Like them a lot. The only thing that I don't like about these is that the stem is a little bit thick, like deep, and so they kind of stretch out my hole and it kind of hurts after a while. A random thing that I have in my everyday jewelry holder is a cottage from my Disney Monopoly game, <laughs> which is right over there. Found this on the floor, need to put it back in the game box. I have another Cartier Love Ring. I can do a triple stack if I want to. I just buy them every once in a while. Two more rings that I keep in here. One is a fake diamond solitaire ring from Amazon. This is a ring that I wear when I'm on vacation because I don't like to take my real diamond with me when we go on vacation just in case something happens, gets stolen, whatever. So I always wear a fake ring when I'm on vacation. The last ring that I keep in here is an emerald marquee that's surrounded with white sapphires. I got this when I worked at Sephora. I worked at a Sephora inside JCPenney and I got this on the JCPenney side. My birthstone is emerald. I'm a May 1st baby and my mom's birthstone is sapphire so I had to get it and I wear it on my ring finger sometimes on my right hand so. I have two bracelets that I wear. This one is like a fake designer one. I don't know which designer it is but I got it on Amazon. That's where I get a majority of like my cheap jewelry. It's silver on the band 
gold like holders for these pearls I wear this one a lot actually it looks really good with my Apple watch and then I also have this fake I don't know if this was a designer one but it's a rose gold knot and then the last things in here are just like spare studs I have one pair of small Missouri studs and these ones are from the Claire Oh crap, I just forgot her last name. Claire Marshall. Those studs are from Claire Marshall's collection with Missouri. They're just really pretty studs. I wear them in my second sometimes. I like them a lot. Another pair of earrings that I wear in my second sometimes are these smaller hoops that are twisted gold from Urban Outfitters. And the last thing that I keep in my little jewelry dish is these very small studs. Um, and I sometimes wear them in my seconds. So mostly earrings in my everyday thing. That's what I change the most. I don't ever change my necklace. Um, and I sometimes wear bracelets, not a ton of rings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye guys.